Well, hello and welcome in. This has to be one of my top requested videos of all time. My husband and I live in an 1885 Victorian home and this year I wanted to give you a little bit of our Halloween home tour. I think one of my best tips for any kind of entertaining is get all of your food prep ready and done ahead of time. And you definitely don't wanna be doing it while your guests are there waiting for you. It's all about just getting together and talking and having fun and eating. So that's why I like to make easy things like appetizers and good little finger foods and nibbles. <laughs> You know, I've always loved this time of year. The fall is so beautiful and magical. I love lighting all my scented candles, getting cozy with a blanket, watching a... <gasps> Helen, you've arrived. She always loves making an entrance. <laughs> You know, I always love a good story and one of my favorites actually comes from my mother. When she and my father first got married, they were living in this really incredible like 1920s apartment place. My mom always talks about what an amazing place that was. And one of my favorite stories that she's ever told me was about the secret room underneath the staircase that she discovered. She got her flashlight out and she was peering underneath the staircase and saw these like twinkling, creepy eyes looking back at her. So she freaked out, dropped the flashlight. <laughs> like, what would you do? right if you saw eyeballs all of a sudden looking at you <laughs> so she picked up the flashlight and poked it back in the hole and she realized that it was a taxidermied head of some sort so there were all these weird taxidermied animals underneath the stairs antique artwork old creepy dolls and there was also this antique wicker jug over here so the giant jug worked absolutely perfectly for holding this big creepy branch that we found pete and i just went for a hike in the woods and we spotted this along the way and i love how it kind of looks like a big claw and all of the crows are resting upon it right when you walk into the house As with most holidays, when I decorate, I love to use items that I've already purchased throughout my home. Just because a new holiday is here doesn't mean you have to go rush out and buy all of these new things. So what I did was take some things that I've already had around the house and kind of pair them in odd ways or color palettes that would have like a Halloween feel to them. So years ago, I went to an estate sale of a doll maker, and that had to have been one of the most creepy rooms I've ever been in because it was filled with all of these random doll parts, little faces and little eyes looking at me and heads and, and body parts. And I thought, you know what? Those would make for the best Halloween props. So I have a little collection here and I love to put them on these pedestals with one of these glass domes or cloches, cloche, cloche. Um, anything you put under one of these glass domes, if you put a number two pencil under one of these, it's gonna look 
These are from the collection of my mother and she let me just borrow them for this video because I wanted you to see them and kind of tell you a little bit of the story. I am from Eureka, California and in Humboldt County there was a famous potter back in the day that would have a little booth in the mall and he would sell some of his designs and wares every Christmas. My mom would go there and she would treat herself to a couple pieces from his little holiday pop-up sale. candelabras are some of my favorites that I've ever gotten from an estate sale. They're very romantic. They have beautiful ornate antique brass with cherubs and that combination of the, the old golden brass and the marble I think is just so beautiful. Normally I have pink candles and gold candles in them, but this year, of course, had to bring out the cool black candles and all of these tapered candles have come from Goodwill. I'm always looking throughout the year for different kinds of patterns and colors and fun shapes. I think that when you decorate with antiques, it can go to really stuffy and boring very, very quickly. So if you do something kind of unexpected and a little bit mix match like this, it makes it a lot more fun. This advertisement kept popping up on YouTube. Anytime I would watch a YouTube video for Grandin Road, and it's the first time I've ever purchased anything from them, but they had these giant eyeballs that I thought were so cool. So I, I put them again under one of those glass domes, like a little baby doll head in there, and stacked it on top of some antique books. This is one of my favorite antique books that I picked up from a garage sale. It's called The Hunted Woman. I've, I've never read it, but the cover and title was so cool. I keep this in my Halloween stash with all of my fake pumpkins and stuff and I get it out every year just to have it on display and maybe some year I'll, I should actually read this what an idea <laughs> The spider infestation has just taken over the house that's here. We're gonna have to see if the exterminator can do anything about this. You know when I said I was like dreaming up ideas and stuff? This is one of them. <laughs> I had this idea of a spider nest like taking over our fireplace and crawling up the wall and stuff. So we went off to my husband's friend's house and he raises chickens. He was the guy that you saw in that last video who does honeybees and stuff. He has a really cool farm. And so he had chicken wire at his, at his farm and I was like, hey, see if Jeremy's got any extra chicken wire for my spider infestation. So I built this giant cocoon and I kind of like domed it in almost like a donut shape. And then I shoved my hand in there with some fake spider webs and then crept all of these little baby creepy crawlies all the way up to the top onto the artwork on there. I just love how this looks because when you come around the corner in our dining room, it's like, <gasps> it kind of takes your breath away. <laughs> Well, I hope you've enjoyed your stay and unless you're going to be dessert, it's probably time for you to go home now.
that was a good creepy one, wasn't it? Let me know in the comments below if you have a fun Halloween movie that you love to watch every year, and I'll see you in the next video. No! Shut up! Sorry, I'm just watching someone walk their dog, and they're totally not picking up after themselves out in our yard. Should I march out there and say something? Silly. <laughs> I was waiting to see you, and I didn't see you. So. I think we gotta turn the, the rings off. I cut myself when I made that Caprice salad, and I have a Hello Kitty bandaid on my finger. That's not very cool. <laughs> <laughs> This was so much fun. Seriously. <laughs>